I'm Emmy Fuentes and my out of the box idea is a vlog that the students will make based on the fifth grade teaks, whichever event that they've learned in the fifth grade teaks. Now they would do this as part of a project where they would do a research paper on that historical event and then do a vlog based on either a historical figure in that event or someone who witnessed it. Now the vlog will require class time and also it is going to be open for the students to collaborate and critique one another, work together on the researching part in order to essentially sharpen each other. And since the students have already learned about these events in the classroom, the language acquisition is encouraged through the fact that they will continue to listen, speak, read, and write about that event in history that they're going to talk about. Each of these four elements is essential to their foundation of L2 acquisition and are addressed through the various activities in the project. Now the students would be put into groups based on the historical event that they're doing. Each individual student would be doing their own vlog and their own research paper, but since they all have the same event, they could work with one another and collaborate on different ideas. After they do turn in the research paper, the teacher would then work with them and discuss the different grammar, wording, and pronunciation in their essay. Now the reason why I think my idea is out of the box is because I've honestly never seen this done in the classroom. And also I got this idea because my fifth grade students were talking about a vlog a famous YouTuber did. And when I, th when I heard that, I thought, why not make this fun for them and make an activity that they actually already know about and just have them apply the learning that they've already done and information that they already have and just have them dive a little deeper into it and make a cool video out of it. The teaks I have chosen for this specific idea is 5.11a through e because of those are the ones that have to do specifically with the research paper in fifth grade. Now the writing, since this has to do with their research paper and then revising by keeping the English common grammar conventions in mind and then the structure of an essay is that that's also something that they're going to learn and the intended purpose in mind. Now the I can statement is I can explain a historical event in my own words and the ELPS I have chosen is the ELPS writing standards C.5G which is that the student will be able to narrate, describe, and explain in detail to fulfill content areas needed. So they would be able to describe their perspective as that figure in that historical event and also getting information for their research paper. Since they will be gathering new information and vocabulary in order to adhere to that specific historical event they are describing. And I, the I can statement is I can explain my historical event and perspective in writing. Lastly, I will be showing you a short example of what this vlog would look like. Keep in mind that this would be a short snippet of what could actually be longer. So the intended purpose is that the vlog would be different days throughout history. So it'd be leading up to an event or it would be the event and then the aftermath. This example is the Boston Massacre. Hello, I'm Emily Kingsington. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, where a lot of things are happening, especially with so many British soldiers around and all these acts happening. I mean, ever since the Stamp Act passed, like in 1765, there's been so much tension in the families because some people are supporting the British. The other family is like, no, we're not sort of supporting the British because they're trying to take out all our money and we don't even get a say in what's happening over there in England. They just want the money back that they spent over 16, 60 million pounds. Like who spends that much money on a war? Who? No one. It doesn't make any sense. I want to make these vlogs so someone out there knows what- Okay, you guys, it just got worse. Okay, so I was just sitting at home, and then all of a sudden, I just hear fire, 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 and it's like nighttime. So I go outside, and then I hear shots fired. Boom, 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 boom. And my mom told me to stay put. I obviously didn't pay attention, so I just ran. And then I caught up with Heather, and she told me that- there were soldiers attacking people in the square. We went over there and we didn't even make it because the crowd was so big. And you could still see all the smoke from the shots fired. And we didn't get close enough to see what happened, but I'm gonna update y'all.